Hello everyone, I am Shikaina Akina Maranga and today I am going to perform female urinary catheterization return demonstration. Urinary catheterization is the insertion of a flexible tube or the catheter through the urethra into the bladder to empty it of urine. Catheterization reduces the risk of infection and kidney damage by making sure that the bladder is empty either continuously or at regular intervals. Urinary catheterization is usually used when people are having difficulty urinating naturally or this could also be used before or after a surgery when necessary and also catheterization is used to help in performing certain tests. Now prior to the conduct of the procedure I have checked the doctor's order for catheterization. This is done to ensure that I have the right patient and the right procedure to be done. Next, I have performed hand washing to deter the spread of microorganisms that causes disease and contamination. Next, I have prepared the necessary equipments that I need and this includes a two-way Foley catheter, a urinary bag, and my catheterization set. Good morning, ma'am. I am Shikaina Maranga, your student nurse for today. May I see your wristband, ma'am? Please take your complete name. Okay, and your birthday, please. Alright, so... Um, Ma'am, we understand that you are having um, difficulty urinating and so your doctor, Dr. Jones, has ordered for you to have a urinary catheter. So what I'm going to do is to insert a tube through your urethra and connect it to your bladder so that you can excrete your urine. Okay, so later during the procedure, I am going to um, expose your genital area and uh, you might feel a little uncomfortable during the procedure but afterwards um, you should feel relief will that be all right okay so do you have any questions or clarifications okay so uh, before we begin um, would it be all right if i close the door so no one from outside will be able to disturb you while we're doing the procedure Okay. Now position the patient in dorsal recumbent with knees flexed. Um, this is done to provide good visualization of the meatus where we will be introducing the catheter. Also the gravity will aid the flow of the urine when the bladder is higher than the end of the catheter. Next thing that I'm going to do is to secure the urinary bag on the patient's bed frame. Okay, so the urinary catheter should be um, below the waist level of the patient. So next thing that I'm going to do is to drape the patient, exposing only the area to be used. This is done to avoid the patient from getting embarrassed and having chills which causes tension and which may interfere with the easy insertion of the catheter. Okay, ma'am, so now I am going to um, expose your genital area, okay? Okay, so I am going to place a pad underneath you so that um, we can protect um, the bed linen from getting soiled, okay? So, can you um, please lift your buttocks for... Um, just a few seconds, okay? All right. So now provide direct light um, for the visualization of the genital area. Next, I am going to open my tray set and arrange the equipment accordingly um, to for convenience and maintain sterility okay. so 
example, inside my tray set, I have an eye sheet, my sterile gloves, my uh, sterile cotton balls with um, cleansing solution. I have a pre-filled syringe. Um, this contains 10 cc of sterile water, which I am going to use um, to inflate the balloon of the urinary catheter. I also have a um, sterile forcep and a lubricant. Now I am going to add my um, catheter into the tracer. After doing that, I am going to use my um, sterile forceps to pick up um, some cotton ball soap in cleansing solution and clean the genital area of the patient. Okay, first midline down and then discard. Okay, next I am going to use another cotton ball for the uh, labia majora. We should never replace a stroke to ensure um, that we do not contaminate the cleansed area. Now the labia minora down and the labia minora of the opposite side down. Okay, after doing that I am going to um, perform hand hygiene. And I am going to don my gloves. Okay, so after donning my gloves, I am going to uh, get my eye sheet and place it on my patient. Okay. Now I am going to connect my um, catheter with the pre-filled syringe. Okay, lubricate the catheter. Um, lubricate the catheter about one and a half inches. This is done to reduce discomfort and friction, which in turn may reduce uh, pain upon insertion. Um, infection and uh, the lesion of the urethra. I'm going to place my um, my tray here and going to pick up the catheter with one hand and place the other hand on the labia minora of the patient, separating the area surrounding the um, neatus. Okay, now so now I am going to insert uh, the urethra catheter. Just please relax, okay? Okay, so insert the uh, urinary catheter about 2 to 3 inches or until the urine will flow out. Okay, so the female um, urethra is about 1.5 to 2.5 inches. And relaxation of the external sphincter um, aids in the easy, exertion of, easy insertion of the uh, catheter. Okay, so... Um, rest the hand on the patient's pubis while um, holding the catheter in place to avoid pushing and pulling the catheter because um, withdrawing and pushing the catheter back in the urethra may cause um, infection of the urethra. Now, if a um, specimen needs to be collected, um, pinch the catheter because um, the urine will flow out if the lumen is not occluded and place the uh, specimen container in place. Okay.
Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is to connect the um, catheter with the urine bag, making sure that the um, urine bag is closed to avoid leakage and um, maintain the sterility of the connection. Next thing to do is to um, inflate the balloon with the 10 cc sterile water. Okay, so um, the balloon will prevent the uh, catheter from slipping out of the patient's body. Also, when the catheter needs to be removed, then the balloon will be deflated. Now I am going to um, tape the catheter on the patient's um, thigh. So for female, the thigh is the best area to tape the catheter, while for males, it would be the abdomen. Okay, um, provide some slack for um, to accommodate the patient's to accommodate the patient's movement. Now remove this eye sheet. Okay. Everything. So now we're done, ma'am. I'm going to cover you up. I'm going to take this this um, pad below you. Okay. I'm going to remove my. We're done. So how are you feeling now? Okay, you're you feel better? Alright. After doing this procedure, perform aftercare of the equipment used and um, perform hand washing and also document the procedure. So for the documentation of the urinary catheterization, always include the date and time of the procedure. The type and size of the catheter used, I used a two-way folate catheter, latex silicon coated. Its size is 14 French. Also record the amount of fluid used to inflate the balloon. I used 10 cc of sterile water and also document the character and amount of urine, the reaction and response of the patient. And um, also include other significant observations.